Hello everyone, my name is Orb and today I will show you how to install my realistic handling mod for GTA 5. So I want to show you the proper way to install my mod so that way there is no confusion. So the first thing you want to do is download the mod of course, now I already have it. This is the readme file you're looking at right now. Um, now I've put the main uh, handling of meta directory right here as you can see it on the screen. And I've also included, if someone wants to use a DLC vehicle like the Sultan RS, you need to go to the proper location of that DLC uh, and find the handling meta for the vehicle you want to edit. So a lot of people open the handling line here and they go like, oh, well, which car do I put it on? And really, um, <laughs> you just choose which car you put it on. So. For example, I'm just gonna uh, copy this. So once you've copied this, just close it, and you want to open uh, your open IV and find the handling of meta. Now this is the directory. Once you have found it, you can just simply extract it. Once you have extracted it, you can open it. And let's say I want to change the handling of the in fairness, for example. Just an example, you can choose any car you want. I'll just copy all the way from here, from the F mass value, all the way to AI handling. Now this is sports car. When I put mine, it's gonna turn into average. See? Um, you can just leave it like that, or you can change it back to whatever you want. But this shouldn't worry you at all. The next thing you need to do is basically click edit mode, like this, and drag and drop your file here. Okay, so now I'm in game and I want to make this very quickly just to show you guys what is the, the difference between driving with the controller and driving with the keyboard. Now right now of course I am driving with the controller and I just want to show you how smooth of a ride this is. This handling works very well. I can even go a bit faster. And the car will actually handle really well. And of course, if I want to drift it, I just need to um, double clutch or clutch kick or whatever they call it. Now let me show you how it looks like when using WSD you can still drive the car but the handling changes a lot it's just a totally different feeling now so once again guys I recommend using a controller and as usual if you have any questions Feel free to ask, feel free to modify this handling. So that's pretty much everything for this video guys. As usual, my name is Orb. And yeah, peace.